Boys and girls, you guys know it. What's today? Audi R8. That's right. <laughs> what the heck? Audi R8. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be finally working on the R8. Now if you don't know or if you're new to the channel, we bought three R8s, one, two, and three kind of tucked away back there. We're gonna be custom building some frame stuff. We gotta get first the jig so we'll be able to make sure that all this is straight. But it sits a little bit high on this side. So we're gonna have to build some custom frame jigs to be able to mount it onto our other frame machine pull this all into place, get it nice and straight, so then that way, once we start building our custom frame jig, we get all the right measurements, and we're gonna be building two tube chassis for our custom swapped race car Audi R8s. I don't know where I was going, but I think that's probably the easiest and fastest way it's to say it. So we're gonna have to make a trip to Logan Steel, and then when we get back, I'll show you guys exactly what we're gonna be building, and hopefully we'll probably grab a coffee and a food on the way. Logan Steel. Good freaking eye. Honestly, we've been here for a little bit trying to find like four pieces to make it all match. But as you guys can see, we have it's too much going on here. We have way too much going on. Like it's just metal on metal on metal. Everywhere. Just everywhere. But I think this I think this is gonna work. You yeah, think so? I think it'll be good. Yeah, this will be perfect. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know what the heck that was. We got like It's the sticky We'll see you guys at the shop, don't yeah. <laughs> Special guest. <laughs> guys, this is Corey. You guys probably know who he is. You see his man bun? Look at him. What the frig? And you can teach a yoga class afterwards, you right? You bet your butt. That's yes, right. I do teach a yoga class. <laughs> <laughs> so Corey brought us some oil. That's going to be for the all-wheel drive challenger. And then look at my Barton shifter, guys. Oh, this is white. Oh, that's so cool. Your white Audi with the Hellcat. Ooh, I could put it with the white Audi. Oh, yeah. Like perfect. We're gonna be able to literally take the measurements, mark it down, put it on here, and then test fit it. And then if it all works, we can literally flip it, do the same thing, and I think we will be just will be mint. That is like sick. All right, let's get to work. Let's get this thing on. I'm excited. Guys, this is looking really clean. You're I, smart. Well, Price. I, listen, I'm very you smart. Me, I know. <laughs> so we measured everything all the way through. We got a straight line. We took all the measurements that I think we're gonna need, um, and we're gonna start drilling out these holes. And hopefully, this works. Fingers crossed. <laughs> you got burnt? No, you just got scared. <laughs> then why were you just laughing? Man, look at that. What do you think, honey? I think you did a great job. That's precision right there. Now, That's Well, we got to make sure. Yeah, we got to make. Well, we're speaking, listen. <laughs> it looks precision. It, we're just having the line going straight through and those cuts that are just clean. It's, look at that. Well, you they can't really tell. You want Can you clean one of those off of them, please? Look at. Let's see, let's see how that looks. Golly, look at them circles, man. I don't know about you, but that's some pretty straight circles right there. That's really pretty good. Straight? I didn't know circles were straight. Those are very circular circles. Yes, yeah, very exactly. <laughs> See, that's some DIY fabrication. Well, guys, there's only one way to find out if we actually did a good job and if this well, all actually works. Hold on, this is fine. What? If it's correct, I help. If it's not, <laughs> I didn't. If it works, I did it. And if it doesn't work, she had all to blame. <laughs> She had all to blame. That's all I gotta say, guys. Look at that precision, boys and girls. Everything lines up. The only bolt that's not lining up is the last one in the back. It's there at the hole. It's just back more. Either way, let's build the other side. Let's get this thing mounted up so we can get this off of the lip. Don't lose those bolts now. I wanna see if it's a straight line. 
So we'll measure here. But it's not because if it was, this is a straight. The or line's your in the line measurement. is crooked. My line can't be crooked because I measured on or each end of two crooked. inches. The metal's not gonna be crooked. You're, do you do you hear what you just said? That's not happening. The measuring is not the metal. It has to be the, the car. Yes, it's freaking Audi. Audi does a horrible job with their systems, and I'm just <laughs> no. But I'm telling you, it's not that. Don't try to do both at the same time. You're not you're not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. You're not strong enough. She's like, you want to bet that? <laughs> I may not be strong enough, but I'm smart enough. <laughs> <laughs> This thing worked perfectly. So mine came out better. Don't even than try yours. it because you use my measurements. And they seen that I actually ended up reworking because you gave up midway through. Well, it was and so I hard. yeah, oh, I was oh. I was and scared. you guys, and well, you know what? All the all of it Why was, is this one not because um the, the, the tent doesn't fit in there. I had to get the wrench tent to just get in there. But everything sits there flush. And I also fixed the other side, guys. What I just did was I moved the hole a little bit with the plasma. And now this side is also bolted down. I'm super comfortable with that now. Remember, I did the back to measure to match up with this one. The front so you, was shorter. It, the front was shorter. Yeah. Really? This is not going to be the only part where it's going to be holding on the frame machine. Obviously, we have all this stuff over here and all these other brackets. So we're going to tie the frame machine to that as well. But at least now I feel a lot more comfortable because I want to be able to make sure that I have somewhere to grab it because yeah. it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, but you have enough bolts to go through. Oh, we got like six. We got to buy grade eight bolts for that. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I guess let's start moving all this stuff around so we can try to get everything squared away. Yeah. All right, let's finish this up. Huge shout out to Ben back, first of all, because Man, this lift has just saved us hours and saved hours. Our our back. Yes, money, everything. Yeah. <laughs> you guys actually could see this. I think they can see it. They should be able to see it. This was. This is straight. This is straight. It's literally like you can even see where it happened. Like all this is split right here. Yeah. See where it separated. Yeah, you see where it kind of looked like a little like it, it went up on it. Where are we going? Man, we gotta go to Rockies, guys. Yeah, we gotta go buy some bolts. See, look, extra spicy. You know how much those freaking things are worth? It's like watching paint dry with this thing come down. <laughs> no weight on a car, man. It literally takes forever for this thing to go down. And then you smack a motor and it goes boop. It literally drops in two seconds. Nope. Oh, shh. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you have all the room. Are you loosening or tightening it? I'm tightening it. I know how to tighten a bolt. Oh, now you do? No, not with a wrench. <laughs> By hand, it's different. So he hijacks his daughter's scooter because he doesn't want to walk to the Hellcat to, to get his impact. Don't judge me, okay? Hey, you want to grab the tool for me and bring it to mommy? So you didn't even bring the tools? <laughs> bring it to mommy, hurry up. Don't go all the way yet. Alright guys, we got these things on. Now it's gonna be the moment of truth. We're gonna get the frame clamps or the frame arms for this. You want me to you sure you don't want me to lift it? I got it. Those gonna, things are heavy. Make sure they Yeah, just make sure it's screwed on. You do not want that to come off and fall on your foot. Me, That's a few months that. off. That's, That's that. definitely a few months. She's like, huh, let me drop this props. <laughs> moment of truth up. Oh, we're in, we're in. How you looking? We're in, let me see. Let's go. Yeah, that's solid too. Look at how nice and that thing took it all. We have success. Audi R8 is on the frame machine. 
Huge shout out to Ben Pack. Honestly, with this lift, I'm not gonna get rid of this machine now because I first was like, I'm tired of this freaking machine because I can't get anything high enough to clear it safely. But this is like a breeze. Any executives from Carolina that are watching this video, if you want to, well, one, send me a newer style lift, I'll take one of those all day off your hands. But if you guys could hook me up with the scissor lift that actually bolts into this one, see those little things, those brackets right there? They're actually, I made my own DIY one because I couldn't afford it and I couldn't find one at the time. Hook your boy up with a scissor lift. I will cut this one off and actually put this the way it should be. And also the stupid arm extensions because these arms are short. But it works and it fits. And it looks nice. It looks nice. It definitely looks factory. $50 on that, yep. She's Audi certified. How about I'm Carliner certified? We're not okay. Working. We're not working on the... Yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> This worked out perfectly. Now, a lot better than I expected. Honestly. Way better than what we both expected. But honestly, for how we just came up with this, I know we're gonna have a million people in the comment. Who oh, you need to have the right proper blah blah blah. Listen, guys, this is just one way to anchor the body. We're still gonna mount and build a few more other spots just to make sure that we get a good anchor. Okay, there's bolts right here. Ooh. So you could like angle it somehow, like get a bolt to bolt here. Yeah. Unless you want to weld it, you could weld it. Does it come underneath? Is my question. Oh, it comes right under. If we build it from here to here like this, yeah, guys, like at, an angle. at an angle, and then just bolt it down like that, we're not gonna have to worry about anything moving. Nope. Heck yeah. And back here. Either. And back there too. Even if we had to, look it, we could actually put it where this piece goes and oh, put yeah. the bolt right through, yeah. and then that should be able to hold in perfectly. Good stuff, let's go. We can still, it's close today, it is Sunday, so next vlog, we're definitely gonna start some frame pooling. We're waiting on the crate of parts because while you're doing frame pulling, you also want to test fit some stuff. Um, I don't think it was coming with front fenders. So we're gonna have to try to figure that out. If you guys find anyone that has a good deal on front fenders and possibly a hood, cause that's another, the most expensive yeah. thing is a hood on these things. Oh, I wish the McLaren, you think the McLaren hood would have been the same? No, no, it's not. It looks like it. No, that would be funny as hell if we throw it a McLaren hood on that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> but imagine. That would be like the biggest freaking like, I don't think it's gonna fit. There's no way in hell it's gonna fit. Let me try. Yeah, no, I don't think so kiddo. Yeah. Not old enough yet, buddy. It's been about a month since you guys heard this thing start up. Hold on. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Snap, crackle, pop. Golly, I can't wait to get started on this thing, guys. All right, guys, that's a vlog. Stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna be finishing up the fabrication on that thing to get the brackets and make sure that everything is 100% for frame pooling. And then after that, we're gonna be jumping back on the Miata and hopefully we can knock out in the same vlog the bracket and the electronic power steering and maybe even test drive and see how this thing rips along with the rest of the cooling system. This stuff is already pretty much done, so yeah, that's gonna be awesome. And then hopefully the vlog after that I will be able to bring it to my boy Chris so we can move the engine forward and then that will get everything as far as this final mock-up to be able to knock out all the metal and then just get this thing ready for paint. Yeah. That is going to be amazing. And then as far as the Bronco, hopefully next week we get the crater parts for the Audi R8, most of the stuff. And they already picked up the body. They already picked up the body, so shout out to MBI Motorsports. Go follow them down below. The rest of the Bronco parts are coming here along to fix the frame. So thank you guys for watching. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Bye.